Back here at the Allen County War Memorial Coliseum here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Jason Bryan here with you. It's the Division II Championship Finals of the NWCA Multi-Divisional National Duels presented by Hibiclens in the United States Marine Corps in honor of Cliff Keen. And we'll go to 133 pounds now. It'll be Jesse Cernuski from Maryville. He'll be in the black singlet taking on Ivan McClay for Notre Dame College. McClay in on the leg already. And Cernuski just basically just bats that head away and says, nope. Trying to go back underneath with a little knee dip again is McClay. He's a sophomore from Maslin, Ohio. In that great wrestling town where you see teams like Perry, Ohio, and things of that nature, nationally ranked Maslin Perry. But McClay from just Maslin High School became the first state champion in school history back in 2013. So you know, he's a trendsetter there in Maslin, Ohio, now working a two-on-one to the outside against Jesse Cernuski, a sophomore from St. Peter's, Missouri, Fort Zumwalt South High School. Remember that, we'll be seeing Fort Zumwalt a couple more times throughout the course of the evening. There's McClay trying to go up underneath again. Now lifting, a little fireman's action. And he's going to come around and get the two-point takedown and take a 2-0 lead. Just over a minute gone by in period number one. And again, another difference between collegiate and high school wrestling is the period lengths. In college, we have a three-minute first period, two-minute second and third periods. So McClay trying, looks like he's trying to snake his arm through across the top and was looking for a tilt. Clay still working on top, but trying to change off his angles. Still got that arm trapped underneath. And Cernuski, one of two different wrestlers that Maryville has used throughout the course of this weekend. We see McClay still on the far side, still trying to work that arm, and referee saying, hey, let's do something with it. We'll get a fresh start. Riding time approaching one minute for McClay. He's a really talented young man, and this is one thing that the smaller divisions have done for talented athletes in the scholarship divisions, giving them more opportunities to compete. There's, there's more to college wrestling, folks, than Division I, and we're seeing that on the mats here in Fort Wayne as we've got Division II, Division III, the NAI, the junior colleges, and the women's divisions all competing under the same roof. Riding time now over a minute. We see that arm trapped again. I assume that McClay's trying to, to bunch him here, maybe looking a ball and chain if he can snake that arm through. Now off to the side, still with that inside wrist control. So important when controlling the, top, the bottom man. Goes hanging on the ankle, not doing a whole lot with it. Now switches back off with 10 seconds remaining in the period. Breaking this match down on paper, so much is going to be dependent on bonus points. Picking up the major decisions, the technical falls, and the falls, and hopefully not any forfeits or disqualifications or injuries. And we're going to start neutral here in the second period. play with nearly two minutes of riding time after that first period. Now going to control that tie, that Russian tie, the two-on-one to the far side. A little sweep attempt by Cernuski. Doesn't go anywhere. McClay still locking with that over tie to the near side. There you see some of the excitement on the far mat. That's the Division Three final. Wartburg and Wisconsin Whitewater. Nothing doing here in this second period. 45 seconds gone by. Both seem to be content to dance with the ties. It's a monstrous event here in Fort Wayne. Over 20 something mats. These five collegiate divisions, there was a college open. 
New Way holding some regional championships and some kids events alongside. So just a ton of wrestling here, at least in this event. Not a ton of wrestling in this period, though. See Cernuski hanging on to the near wrist. Referee says enough of that. We'll get a fresh start. 38 seconds remaining. So Mario Morgan giving some instruction there on the bench from Maryville, one of Coach Denny's wrestlers from his days at, as he calls it, the other place. But we know it's Nebraska-Omaha. Good sweep there by Cernuski. Fought off nicely by McClay. Trying to go underneath with that duck under again. Now hanging on the arm, comes around. There's control. Two-point takedown for McClay, so he will extend his lead now to 4-0. Getting that late takedown, so important to be able to steal periods by picking up points late in the period. And with the takedown there with just over 10 to go, not giving Cernuski much of an opportunity to get free and get an extra point. And McClay with a 4-0 lead with riding time. He has choice, and he's going to start this, the third and final period here neutral. As we alluded to, bonus points might be on the mind here. McClay goes back to that two-on-one tie to the far side. Looks like he loves tying up on that left arm. And pushing Cernuski back. Cernuski trying to circle in, but McClay drives him out of bounds, gets a fresh start. 22 seconds into period number three. It's our second bout of 10. Maryville currently leading 3-0. And this one's going to go back and forth, people. I, I just got a feeling that as evenly matched as these two teams are, this could be one for the ages. Fifty gone by here in the third period. McClay looking inside trip there. Actually, kind of just just feigning it a little bit. Sarnuski drops down on the sweep. Wizarding hard is McClay. Referee's going to tell him to work up and improve here, but doesn't look like either man's going to move in either direction. And there's the stalemate. 39 to go. Riding time is assured at this point. And another fireman's. No control awarded yet. And now there's two more. Now he's going to try to take Cernuski over to his back. And he gets a one count. Gets a couple of one counts, no two counts. That could be huge. Was it 6-0 with riding time, 15 to go. Another two, uh, two count would have made this a major decision. And going for the tilt there at the end, rolling through is Cernuski. Trying to avoid the bonus points and does. But it'll be a 7-0 decision for Ivan McClay of Notre Dame College. That will tie up this dual meet at three apiece.